the energy going for our next comic. I see you smiling, girl. I see that twinkle in your eye. Um, if you could just move over for one second, just so everyone can see. Do you see this beautiful, huge ass bouquet of flowers? Can you see it? I'll show it to you later on. These are the most beautiful, gorgeous flowers I have ever seen. And this is exactly why I call our next comic Teacher's Pet. <laughs> Love this man. He was so enthusiastic. We chatted on the phone before he even started the class. He was always first on, uh, in, cl in class, except for that one time when Scott got there before him. Oh, but that was because he was absent. Okay, so you were always first in class. Give it up, y'all, for Jeff Babb. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Thank you very much. How's everyone doing? Nice, nice. Um, uh, my name's Jeff, like Carly said. Um, it's not spelled J-E-F-F, -F, it's actually spelled G-O-F-F. -F. Which isn't too uncommon, but people usually have fun with it. They look at my name and they go, hey, how do you pronounce your name? Is that Goff? <laughs> no, it's actually Jeff. It's just Jeff. Is it Geoff? <laughs> no, it's just Jeff. Are you Hungarian? And they're always shorter than me for some reason. Um, no, I'm not Hungarian. Are you Scottish? Are you an asshole? <laughs> so that's always awesome. I always enjoy that. Um, another thing that's awesome is uh, road cyclists. This is a special group of people, in particular, two different kinds of road cyclists. Anyone ever had trouble with road cyclists before? Kind of getting into your lane? Um, yeah, that's the first one. That's the first one that actually just kind of just makes my heart just get all warm and fuzzy. Um, true story, actually. Going down PCH a couple weeks ago, uh, right-hand lane, um, just cruising along, speed limit, and one of those guys that doesn't really respect the bike lane. He likes to just ride on the outside lane. And as soon as you're about to pass him up, he just kind of gets over into your lane, so you got to hit the brakes. I'm sitting there thinking, I'm like, all right, this is a challenge. I don't know how I'm going to get around this person, but it's a challenge. So I'm just waiting for the right moment. And I'm just watching, and I'm timing it. And he actually gets over to the right-hand side, and I kind of hit the gas, and then hit the brakes, because he gets right back in my lane. I'm like, okay, that's cool. I, I, I get it. He's, my, maybe he's fucking with me. I don't know. Um, so I'm back to square one. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to do it again. So I'm just waiting, waiting, I'm in, you know, waiting for my time, waiting for my big opportunity. And sure enough, he gets over to the right, I hit the gas, he gets back to the left, I have to hit the brakes again. So now everyone behind me thinks I'm the asshole. So, um, shit, I almost fell off the stage. Um, so I see a red light coming up, and I'm like, all right, this is great, this is awesome. Because um, I'm going to pass this son of a bitch up. This is my time now. I've got everything planned. And we stop at the red light, and he just kind of is right in front of me, a little bit to the right. And you know when they actually stand up, they kind of bounce themselves on their pedals, because they're so fucking cool. Um, and he kind of sticks his ass up in the air, like he's a cat, like flicking his tail at me. And I'm like, you son of a bitch. This entire time, you've been fucking with me. I'm like, all right, it's on. It's on. I'm going to blow right by you. And he's bouncing on his bike. And I just wanted to roll down my window watch his ass fall over, but I'm not going to do that. Um, so the light turns green, and I hit it. And I'm gone, I get around him, and I'm just cruising down the street. And I look at my rear mirror, and he's getting smaller and smaller, and I'm flipping him off, and I'm like, yes, I won! And I look back down, and Arr! i got to hit the brakes again, I'm stuck in traffic. Oh, shit. You know it's coming, right? I'm just waiting for it, waiting for it. He's going to get bigger and bigger in my rear view mirror. He's going to catch up to me. And I'm just waiting for it. I'm waiting for the perfect time to open the passenger door so he hits it and goes flying through car lanes. My name's Geoff, bitch! The second one that I like, and this is another true story. Uh, that guy died. Uh, this, is a, this is another true story. My lovely wife and I are walking around Marina Pacifica because we live in Long Beach, um, just cruising around. And a new guy comes out. He's all decked out. He's got brand new stuff on. Uh, minus the bike hat, mind you. But he's got on his uh, helmet, he's got on his glasses, and he's got on the spandex uniform that they wear. <clears throat> and he's brand new at the sport, so he's not in shape. So he's just kind of walking around, he's coming out of Starbucks. I'm the shit. I'm the man. Alright, that's cool. His man boobs are all over the place. He didn't have muffin, a 
muffin top, he had muffin tops. I mean, he was stacked. He looked like a ripped condom, full of sausage and beef. That's some fucked up shit. I don't ever want to see that. And what was even worse is he was just kind of walking around, just letting everything hang out. And you can see it nuts. And I didn't want to see it. My wife, she actually passed out. Um, and it wasn't so much that uh, you could just see the form, you could see some veins. Uh, this dude had issues. And on top of that, you could see the hair. His legs were shaved, but something else wasn't shaved. He had a whole mad scientist thing going on down there. And he's walking around with his coffee, and I heard this sound. Like, what the hell is that sound? Is this man drawing more attention to himself? And people are like stopping, and it's resonating off the walls and shit. People are just stopping and looking around. Clickety clack! Clickety clack! He's got his cleats on! He's got no bike, but he's got his cleats on. And I'm like, how can this man draw any more attention to himself? Clickety clack! Clickety clack! And look at my neck sack! My name's Geoff. Thank you very much, guys. That's how you do it, Jeff. That's how you do it. Let me tell you what he just whispered in my ear. He said, that shit felt good. Teacher's pet, baby. Teacher's pet. Here you are. The amazing one. Awesome aspects of amazing comedy. Great job, dude. Great job.